Good morning, everyone. We are in the car, Scarlett and I. We are going shopping again. <laughs> I it's need to. Shopping. I need to get some um, snacks. Kids go back to school Wednesday. Today's Friday, and we've got things to do on the weekend. So I thought Scarlett and I would pop up there again. And yeah, do that. And we're heading off early. It's like, I think it's just after eight. Yeah, 10 past eight. It's about the same time as last time. And there's no real um, specific things I need from the shop. So we don't need to be in such a hurry today. So that's going to be cool. I've got to go get some petrol first. Look at these guys. have got little boots. Little boots for dogs. I was actually saying to James yesterday, I need to get Lucy some shoes. Because she gets double G's in her feet when we go walking. So sad. Little tiny ones, little tiny dogs. That's classic, that is. Okay, we have just got home. It's six o'clock. Yeah, six o'clock. I'm so tired. Look at my. I'm just like a little zombie. Scarlett had a little sleep on the way home, but not much of one. Hudson's excited. He got some Maccas. Even a Maccas for ages, have you, buddy? I, I want Maccas since I. Mm, since I can. Yeah, you have, haven't you? My mate's good burgers, though. Hey. That's so good. Yeah, I did buy any. I was going to buy some beef burgers today, but I couldn't get any hamburger buns anywhere, so I thought, nah, there's no point buying the, the beef burgers for it. Okay, guys, I think I definitely need a bigger kitchen table. I've already put all the cold stuff away, and I've got things in bags and boxes and that all around the table still, so... It'll take a bit to get through this vlog and I'm trying to do dinner. In between, so bear with me. So I took my little Esky with me today as well. That's the big one. And we got two one kilo vanilla yogurts. I've got a three litre milk in here. I've got a big juice, four litres. This must be what you Americans say is a gallon, four litres, I'm guessing. I'd love to buy my milk in containers like that. That's a ripper. I'm going to keep that for a soup stock, I reckon. Bought another cream cheese because I bought one last time. And it's not really big enough to do anything with. So I thought if I buy another one, I could do like a cheesecake or something like that. Might do some little mini ones. And I've got some more butter. I actually meant to get unsalted butter. Oh, it is unsalted. I think I looked at both the boxes and checked as well. That's going to be to make some Anzac biscuits with. And I've got some light sour cream. And in my big esky, we have a big celery. I've got two pieces of watermelon. You should have seen the bloke from Coles just throwing these on the ice on there. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, hey, oh, dick. And the chickens at Coles, well, I've got three already in the freezer, but they were $2.80 a kilo. $7.10 for that huge chicken. So I have to get another one. <laughs> so I might even cook them up tonight and we'll have them over the weekend in Sangers or whatever. But for that price. And I got some steak. I'm not really a fan of Aldi steak that much, so I thought I'd get some. Coles rump steak that looks so good and we also grabbed some schnitzels just some plain crumb ones 10.50 for a pack 15 15 I don't know how many three six nine twelve there's twelve in there <coughs> so that'll be another quick meal I've got another sour cream in here I've got some eggplant dip. I don't know if I've mentioned this in my vlogs before, but the Aldi eggplant dip is so beautiful. And Coles had these Perino little tomatoes. They were like a twenty for a punnet. So I had to get three, which is weird because I don't normally like buying an odd numbers, but there you go. Um, and actually speaking of odd numbers, well, I was only going to get two of these. These pork hops to do a soup. And it said they were new in and that they were 5 50 something a kilo. And I said to the chick, I was like, excuse me, I was like, these, I said, what part of these is 5 55 She's like, are they 5 55 a kilo? I said, well, no, they're not because they've got 8 99 on the tag. 
So yeah, she marked them, worked it out what they were and wrote the price on all of them. So that's pretty good. Wanna go outside, Luce? And in my little end bit, I've got some Hungarian salami. I've got some river gum ham. And I've got a kilo of chicken breast as well. So that's it for my cold stuff. Mm, that fish curry that I'm heating up. Oh my god. So good. It's a little bit hot though. Good thing I've got a beer to wash it down with. Mmm. Does every brisky after that shopping? Oh my god, I'm so tired. It's not even funny. But. Oh, okay. Let me show you what I got today. Little stalls on the side of the road along the way up to Geraldton. And you just it's got your honesty box thing. So I chucked in five bucks. These didn't have a price, so normally my sister stops at this bloke all the time and she reckons they're a dollar fifty, so I've got an eggplant, a pumpkin, a little bag of spuds, and I grabbed three of the little capstans as well, so one, two, three, four. Yeah. I'll chuck an extra dollar in there next time I go. It's actually saying what they do is they pop in there on the way past, because it's a lot obviously early in the morning, and they grab everything that they want to have from there. And then, sorry, <laughs> squirrel. And then they call in on the way back and drop the money in the box, which is smart, because you never know how much you're going to need or, you know. So, yeah, that's a pretty good idea. But yeah, I think mum was... Not really worth much more than I got anyway, so that was okay. And I had another little one of those honesty box things near Bunnings next door, out the front of BCF. And I saw it last time we went, but I didn't have any money on me, so I didn't bother. But these were a dollar fifty bags, so it's, yeah, really good. Nice tomatoes. Pretty happy with that. So we went to Bunnings first, and we got scarlet picks and flowers. So we got some corn flour. So these would be beautiful. They got a bit squashed, but something always gets squashed from the garden center when we go up there. And I picked some calendulas. You can actually eat the flowers on these and they're also good for the bees. So they'll be pretty. And there's the other one she picked. Uh, I'll show you in a minute. Let's just get through it. Um, I've got some brown onions. I am growing some from seed, uh, not from seed, from the scrap bits, but yeah, we'll see how that goes. So here's the other ones that she picked. Cornflower, blue boy. These are beautiful with that colour. And bees really like bright colours, so they definitely attracted to purple side here. So we'll find out if that's true or not. Uh, I've got some purple onions, because last time I went to Bunnings, they didn't have a few things that I wanted. I got some more broccoli, so this is just normal broccoli, so that's cool. And I don't know if I've said this to you before, but there's no white butterflies up here. Um, and when we're in Bunnings, I'll say to Scarlett, I just want to find normal broccoli. This old boy's like, oh, it's just there. And I said, oh, thanks. I said, yeah, normally I don't grow anything like that, that the cabbage moths are attracted to because they literally like just lay their eggs all over it and it's gone. So, quite happy to be growing Brussels sprouts, cabbages, cauliflowers, and just anything like that. It's like really cool. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, some Savoy cabbage. And um, the old boy, this is one he recommended, Sugarloaf. He reckons this one is beautiful. And he reckons they're real big cabbages too. So, I'm excited about that. And I wanted a bit more cabbage because the chooks love the cabbage as well when you hang it up. And I've got some leeks. There's so many in one punnet too, so that's going to be cool. Keep us going for my beautiful soups I'll be making for the colder weather. And I've got dill. So I was pretty wrapped because the ones that I couldn't get when we went up last was dill and cauliflower. So I managed to pick up those today. See? Here's my cauliflower. So that's pretty cool. I went to Target and I've got heaps of clothes for Scarlet. She's going to go stir up dad and show him her denim on denim because he hates denim on denim. So this is her new jacket that she got. She's never had a denim jacket before, so. I like it. Yeah, it looks really nice. It looks really nice with the dark hair too. And you got your jeans. They look really nice. Yeah, they look I've got like some my skinny jeans. 
Come on, let's go show Dad see what he says. I love that smack. Come on, go. Dad. 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 Ready to see my outfit? Yep. Yeah. Come on. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't look that bad though, huh? Hey? It's more men that you don't like it on, like. Yes, definitely. Yeah. Denim shorts. I just need a better shirt. Yeah. Like a black shirt. Yeah. yeah. But she's never had a denim jacket, so she was really excited to get one of those. Excuse yeah. So she conned me into going into um, Target. Actually, I didn't. I'm like, oh, I'm going to Target, and then we're starting to go past Target, and Mum was like, "Come on, then." Yeah, and then she sees this one, Um, she sees these trackies, and they're black and green, I think. We'll show Dad after what else you got. Yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah, uh, but, yeah, but keep saying what happened. Oh, yeah. And so, um, Mum just starts picking out tons of clothes, just like from each aisle, just like, these jeans, these jeans, these jeans. And all the fitting rooms were shut, and I had a pile of clothes for her, and I said to Lady, so we kind of trauma, and she's like, nah. I said, all right, then. I said, so we're going to the corner of the shop then. She's like, I know nothing. So, yeah. She had shorts and a top on yeah. anyway, so she could try the, try the jeans on that over the top of it. Yeah, cool. But, yeah. So know. she's set for winter now. Awesome. So she's very happy. Spent a lot of money on her today. She's very... She's always happy when she, when she gets... Well, well, she is always happy with her. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice getting new stuff. It was like this jacket. Oh, so do I. I'm sleeping beauty's away. Have you been asleep all day? I went to sleep at like five. And you've been just woken up now? It's time. You went to sleep at five in the morning? No. Oh, at night? Yeah. Oh, oh it's only <coughs> my Fitbit's flat. <laughs> I don't know what the time is. I love this hoodie. What? Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's beautiful. Oh my, oh, I thought it was a ripping at first and I'm like... And then I realised had a boat in the way. Wow, ah! it's beautiful. I love it, it's huge. Yeah, it's n not huge, it's a really good size on you. It looks so nice with your jeans. Really nice. <laughs> it's same back from Aldi. Aldi special. I had to go back to Bunnings last and pick up some of these because I forgot to get them. They're my uh, replacement ceramic cartridges for my water purifier. So that's cool, and they're about $23 each, so that's pretty cool. But the one we've got now has lasted, oh, we've had it since we moved up here, so February, March, April. Yeah, pretty much two and a half months, so that's pretty good. And when we were in Target, they had these uh, passport holders. They used to be 10 bucks each and they were down to five and then they'll mark down to two dollars. So they're pretty cool. Picked up a few of those. Um, I also got one for my oldest boy. I thought he'd like one for his passport. So that was my little wagon of the day. So I got six loaves of white bread from Aldi, a multi-pack of chips, and I finally bought a vacuum food sealer. I don't think there is any bags in here. Um, and it was only 40 bucks, so I'm not expecting it to be, you know, really amazing or anything like that. Um, I got some more fly spray, another tub of peanut butter, and snacks wise is mainly what I went for for the kids, but that didn't really turn out very well for me. <laughs> um, yeah, I got the dippets. So I've got the cheddar ones and just the tasted cheese ones. Some chewy muesli bars, six pack or six liters rather of the light long life milk. Pasta wise, like I said, I grabbed two and got scarlet to get two. So I've got a spaghetti, two macaroni and just the spirals. And the kids love these creamed rice. So we picked up four of those, so they've got one each. And I needed some more snack bags, so I've got two boxes of those, and I also picked up two boxes of the sandwich ones. Fresh produce wise, I got two packs of the mushrooms that, yeah, a whole, so I'll cut them myself. 
uh, punnet of green apples. Hudson loves green apples. Not fresh produce, but I got some eggs. We have got chooks and we are getting eggs, but they're just that fresh all the time that I just can't really boil them and have boiled eggs. So I thought stuff it. I'll buy myself some bum nuts. And they're red capsicums for only $6.99 a kilo. I love red capsicums. So I picked up six of those. Six or five. Three or five. Five rather. Uh, I also grabbed a rock melon. And some bananas. I grabbed a green bunch of bananas. So they won't be as ripe as the other ones that I bought. Another pack of avocados. I hope these are okay and don't have the stupid little lump bits in it that I've been having pop up in them. Um, some brown onions. I've got some. Yeah, I've got two. I bought two kilos of brown onions from Aldi, and I also picked up some snap peas now that i've got some yummy produce i'm going to actually make that hummus that i've been talking about doing so i'm looking forward to that over the weekend the kids will love that too and i've got a big cucumber um yeah that was from aldi i wasn't sure whether that was from aldi or not but yeah that was and it was pretty cheap too it was like a dollar fifty or something so that was all right um i'll show you these two before i miss it I got this huge two kilo jar of roasted capsicums for 10 bucks from Aldi as well. Absolutely love these. And you pay six bucks for, you know, a jar, probably half the size of that. So anytime I see these at Aldi, I'll make sure I pick some of those up. Um, I got some lamington fingers for the kids. I'm actually going to freeze those and they can be little lunchbox treats. And these Easter cookies that I was telling you about at Easter time that... We love so much. These are actually really not that bad for you. There's like 119 calories by memory. Yep, exactly 119. That's how much I love them. Um, and 2.8 saturated fat. So, and they were marked down to a dollar fifty a pack. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Grab six of those. And I also grabbed a coriander plant in a pot because my little babies just aren't growing quick enough yet. So, and I want something now. Ah, oh, it smells so good, actually. You know what? I've got my dinner sitting right there. I'm going to put some leaves in there. Um, what else we got over the back there? We got eight packs of, we got eight packs of this light popcorn. I love just nuking this in the microwave and just bagging up for the kids for school. And it is so yummy. And for like, I'm pretty sure it's about 80 cents a packet. Good cheap snack. And I got two bags of jasmine rice. I'm all out of just normal white rice. So I picked up some of that. Um, what else have we got? I got some more hand wash just to refill my ones that I have already. So I've got two of those. And this is my favourite one. Peach. Actually, there used to be another one that I really loved as well that was nicer than that. It was a purple one. But I haven't seen it for a while. Um, so I'll definitely have to check out the Aldi's down in Perth. Once the borders open back up, we can go down there. Be checking that out and hopefully stocking up on some of those. Um, I uh, picked up some more just bin bags, grabbed two of them. And they finally had the taco seasoning. I pulled down the first box that had none, and then the second box had some in it. So I grabbed all of them because I love taco seasoning, and yeah, I'm sick of going there and they never have it. So what have we got? Six taco seasoning. I want to actually do some taco bowls. They're so good. Um, their beans were really sold out. The only beans that they really had available was pinto beans, which I hadn't seen there before. Actually, they're edgel too. I didn't even notice that. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so I got two pinto beans and I got two chickpeas. So that was okay. And they had the bags of like Himalayan salt... Uh, peppercorns and the white rock salt and stuff so I grabbed a pink Himalayan salt obviously and we've got some more pasta this is such good like stuff for just for a side dish for a meal so we picked up some macaroni cheese and just the Alfredo ones 
Um, I got some tomato paste on wanting to do pizzas, but actually I couldn't get the pineapple in the can. They were totally sold out of that, so that's a bit of a bummer. So that might just sit in the cupboard for a bit until we can pick up some pineapple. Um, I got two jars of just traditional tomato pasta sauce. And I'm all out of these little pickles in a jar, so I've got some of those. And I ended up getting a whole box of diced tomatoes from there, so that was pretty cool. And I also got these two pasta sauces here. And they were the ones that Scarlett got for me. And Scarlett bought herself some Zappos, so I also took her back and get a packet for the boys so that they can have some as well. And what else we got? This bread is the bread I buy for myself, so I'm just going to pop that in my freezer. And I got another egg tray, look at this. This was the only one there, and I saw $2.99 on a tag for the Crofton stuff, and I was thinking, I don't know if it's going to be that cheap, but look at this one. I absolutely love it. And you just, yeah, you fit your whole carton of 12 in there, and yeah, for $2.99. That's just brilliant. I'm in love with that. So, got that as well. And um, what else we got? Uh, a couple of bags of carrots. It was finding the other week I had carrots coming out my ears, and then I ran out and had none. <laughs> so, grabbed two one kilo bags of those. And the sweet potatoes were, yeah, about three bucks a kilo, I think. So, I grabbed some of those. Move my fish carry out the way. And I got some moo milks for the kids as well. Two packs of strawberry and two packs of chocolate. Um, what else we got in there? And then I also got a bag of potatoes as well from Aldi. That was like four bucks. I think they were four bucks. Were they from Aldi? Yeah, they were. Um, yeah, so they were four dollars. I got two cauliflowers from Coles. They look really nice and they were, I think about four fifty five bucks. And they've been really expensive up here, like $8. And James was telling me one of his workmates paid 12 bucks one the other day, he didn't even realize. So he <laughs> really wouldn't have bought it if he had noticed how much it was. Alice, uh, loose, on your bed. Um, I've got some more zucchinis. Oh, I'm gonna do a zucchini slice with some of those as well. That'd be nice. And I got three more bags of onions from Coles, uh, from, yeah, I got them from Coles first, actually. Um, I use a lot of onions and I actually ran out the other day and it really sucked. So <laughs> I thought, no, nah, I'm stocking up. They stay good in your pantry for ages anyway, so that was all right. And I got some broccoli. This broccoli looks so beautiful. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I got some dates. These were like 12 bucks a kilo, so that was pretty good. And I've got two bunches of bananas, and like I said, I've got some green ones from Aldi afterwards, so they'll be nice and um, ready like after we've eaten these ones, obviously. Um, and I also got some apples, yay, pink lady ones. <laughs> Oops, pick up. And I've got two big bags of apples because. Yeah, I just can't I just can't deal with not having fruit in the house, it really does my head in. And they stay good in the fridge as well, so that's cool. Um I've got these twirl bites for my husband now on special. He loves twirls. He would love that. And we got uh, Scarlet picked out some chips, salt and vinegar and some honey soil. I think they were two for five bucks, that was alright. And they had the Doritos, we got the cheese supreme ones, we got the mints left over in the fridge uh, freezer, sorry. So I said to Scarlett, grab some of those and we'll do some, um, oh God, nachos. I keep going for bloody burritos. Yeah, we'll do those one night for dinner. Um, I got two loaves of white bread. We got some, um, cheese and bacon rolls. And Scarlett got some of the Hawaiian ones that we got last time we went up. She loves those. And I grabbed a normal pack of soft, white rolls and I also grabbed some more of the bun things for my husband's lunches he really really enjoys grabbing those at the freezer ready to go um so we got a 1.2 kilo box of wheat bix I got some more cappuccinos but I got two boxes this time because I'm sick of running out of them so that was cool 
And we got some oats. I want to make some Anzac biscuits. I want to make some Anzac biscuits for Anzac Day tomorrow. Um, I couldn't get uh, golden syrup anywhere. Aldi was totally out, Coles was out. So we popped into a little IJ on the way back through and Scarlett got this one, which is really good. It was like five bucks and it's a kilo, so it's pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. And I got some more little muffin cases. Look at these, they're so cute. Little clouds on those, little um, pink flamingos on the top ones. I can't really see what's in there at the moment. What was there, llamas? Yeah, so they were pretty cute. They will be nice for the muffins for the lunches. Um, what else have we got here? Uh, just some peep slices in syrup. Um, I must have only grabbed one of those. Um, over the back there we've got some chicken rice, chicken flavoured rice. Um, I've got some little box of roses chocolates. I've uh, got some rice bubbles and some premium crackers. We've been loving these with chosen Vegemite. They're just a nice little snack for in the afternoon when the moths are coming in so high. Um, and this berry granola was on clearance for like four bucks. 550 gram box. Lachlan can have some of that. He loves, loves, loves granola. Um, and I thought we'd give these a try. Aged cheddar and chive package crackers. They were like a dollar something, so I thought, yeah, we'd try them out. Um, just got some pads. What do we got? Um, I thought, assuming as they had the limits on the canned tomatoes and stuff, I thought I'm going to get the big cans, so grab two of those big ones. And like I said, I shopped at Coles first before I got the uh, all the other ones that were in the box. But yeah, we get through them, so no drama. And I got a big jar of Vegemite, nearly out of that. And some more pasta sauce. So same deal with that. They've got limits, so I've got Scarlet to get two of those for me. So... Um, Two oh, onion herbs and spices, that's just classic tomato, tomato and garlic bolognese, both of those two. And a couple of cans of kidney beans, and I'm actually glad I got them because like I said, Aldi was pretty much sold out of all of them, so it was just mad. And I got a loaf of this raisin bread, it was about three bucks. Uh, it was half price at Coles, and I'm glad I got that because I know Aldi do have fruit toast and I was thinking no I'm not gonna risk it and they didn't have any at Aldi so winning on that one um pasta wise from Coles we got just uh, more like yeah twist of noodles and I've got some of these little shell things I made some minestrone soup the other night and it was amazing so I definitely want to make some more of that um, I also picked up a few chocolate chip cookie dough quest protein bars for myself. Those were three twenty. They were about four bucks. That was all right. And they had all the natural um, confectionery company loaves on special. So we got some dinosaurs, some smoothie chews, uh, rainbow snakes, normal snakes as well. Um, and Scarlett got me two packets of spaghetti and I've got another one of these big uh, crusty bread rolls. This was absolutely beautiful and it worked really good just wrapping it up in the foil like you saw me do. I chopped it in half, just wrapped it and chucked it in the freezer and yeah, it was really good. I just knew, uh, and I didn't nuke it, I popped it in the oven for a little bit to heat it up in the foil and cut it and put some butter on it and everyone was asking for more. I'm like, sorry I didn't have any more because it was just what I had. And I got some more uh, soy crisps. I noticed um, in Coles that these were all, most of the stuff that you go and bag up yourself was actually, um, yeah, most of it was bagged up already. These don't look quite plain on there. It's supposed to be plain, but I can see bits of stuff in them, so I don't know if they're normal. Soon find out, I guess. Um, they still had limits on flour, so I just grabbed two little white plain flours. And they had these uh, Tabri Dairy Milk Cream Egg 
box of chocolate on clearance for three bucks. Oh. So I thought, yeah, I'll grab some of those for the kids as well. So I got some skim milk for myself. I got four of those from Coles and I got four of the full cream milks as well. So I spent $290.29 at Coles and that was including me giving Scarlett my card to just grab those few little things for me that she got. So that was okay. I spent $317.68 in Aldi and I also spent about 180 in Target on stuff I bought for Scarlett. And yeah, my golden syrup, like I said, was five bucks and I put 50 bucks fuel in my car on the way. So yeah, I've spent about, I'll say probably just under 800 bucks today. Um, but you know what, when you live in the bush, you don't really spend your money on anything else and you just gotta, you just gotta have food. Okay, I am adding in the end of this vlog. I edited the whole thing and I put music in and because I had my headphones on when I did it, the volume of the music was so loud, <laughs> I could hardly hear my voice. So this is how I did another vlog a little while back and one of my followers actually said, oh, you could hardly hear your voice because of the music. And now I know that's, that's why it's happened. So yeah, so stupid. But um, yeah, so that was my vlog. I just edited it again and yeah. I, it took me ages to edit the first time because I say but and um so much. So I had to take them out and I was just like, oh my God, I can't believe how many times I say um. So yeah, ignore that. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. Give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe to my channel so you can keep um, updated. See, um... <laughs> Keep updated for all my vlogs that will be coming out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.